I ordered this putter shaft by mistake. It's crazy and I kind of love it. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I've got this putter shaft in my hand here. I actually ordered this by mistake. I'll tell you the story here. I love my new putter. And what I like in all my clubs is more weight. I like them heavier. Helps me kind of keep my pace. Helps me be more consistent, especially on putting where I can get a little jabby sometimes with light putters. Having a really nice heavy putter helps me keep a nice consistent stroke through the ball. Now, this is not the putter that I normally play with. This is an older Nike putter, but I had the head here, so I put it on this putter shaft. So, because I like heavier putters, I was looking for the heaviest putter shaft I could find, and I found that this company, Paterson, Peterson Von Panda made a 215 gram graphite shaft. Can you believe that? So I went ahead and ordered it. Now, I do want to show you that I have actually used Peterson shafts before. This is their Kinetics Ballistic Shaft, and it's a great shaft for irons. I actually discovered them by Adele Golf, who puts them in a lot of their single length irons, as well as a lot of their wedges, and they're pretty heavy shafts, 90, 95 grams, something like that, and I really like that because I love graphite. But I love heavy shafts, and finding heavy graphite shafts is not always the easiest thing. So I thought, well, I'm probably going to like their putter shaft. Now, this putter shaft came, and as soon as I got it, I was so confused because it comes wrapped in plastic, like many shafts do. But basically what I want to show you here, I do believe this is a 215 gram shaft, but as I just draw it across the screen here, what you can see is that this back end of it is ginormous. In fact, I think this is 28 millimeters, so it's over an inch thick here. I can put my finger in there. How many golf shafts can you do that with? And I got chubby little fingers. All right, so this thing is huge. And in fact, I was having trouble getting the plastic off it. And I thought, oh my gosh, it's got like pine tar or something on it. There's grease that's sticking to it. But right here, what you can see, and it might be a little hard to see, but this is kind of a matte finish. And you can see right here, it looks a little shiny. And that's because they have put some sort of coating on this that is grippy and rubbery. So it kind of reminds me <laughs> of the sticky buttons that you get in Ferraris after a while, after the heat starts melting off that top coating. You know what I'm saying, <laughs> all you, you Ferrari owners. And so that's what it kind of feels like, and it's very grippy. I kind of wonder how long it'll last, but as you can see, I've been playing with it, and it's kind of pebbled up here, and kind of feels a little bit like dried glue, but your hand doesn't slip out of there. And that's good because there is no way you're going to get a traditional golf grip on here. In fact, I was kind of wondering when I got the shaft, how would anyone use this? Because you can't put a putter shaft on here. So this tuned red putter shaft is just ginormous. I actually have a tuned blue, which I think is basically the same thing, but just a little bit lighter. I think it's a 205 gram, so 10 grams lighter. But as you can see, really thick wall here. And then it does taper down to that 0 0.370 inch hosel. And so what I did here is I just grabbed an old putter head, this Nike putter head, and I went ahead and glued it on here and started playing around with it. Now, that's where this thing kind of got really interesting. I will tell you, I have never thought about building a putter that doesn't have a grip, that the whole thing is shaft here, that it's very heavy. And I will tell you right now that the heavy shaft is really nice. It makes it really smooth. It adds a lot of weight. A lot of that weight is right up here. You can kind of see where that balance point is with this face balance putter head. And that means there's a lot of weight down here. I've got a pretty heavy mallet putter head on here. And so a lot of that weight is up here. For me, I like that weight right down on the putter head, but you can get putter heads of different weights, some with the adjustable weights on there so you can really load them up. But I will tell you that a couple things that I discovered. First of all, it does take getting used to a little bit. I'm so used to those EVA foam putter grips. And the first thing you notice when you putt with this is that there is a ton of feedback that comes through when the ball hits the face and is transmitted up the putter shaft. And in fact, a lot of people have gone to graphite shafts because they are trying to dampen that feel especially in irons, you don't want that sting in your hands. And so I am shocked at how much feedback is transmitted through this graphite shaft or carbon fiber or whatever they make this out of. Now, it probably doesn't surprise me because when you have this much graphite here, very thick walls, this thing is not only heavy, but it's probably extremely stiff. It's probably extremely low torque, low twist, probably kind of brittle, but it also probably means it's a very good conductor of that sound and feel. And so when you are putting, it's a little weird. You feel the ball through the handle 
very very much so i kind of equate it to driving a car without power steering when you are driving at speed you're feeling the road you're feeling every little pebble right you're getting all of that feedback through the steering wheel well consider that effect on your golf club but on steroids because as soon as you hit the ball with this putter face i feel like you can feel through your hands whether it was just a little offset whether you hit high or low on the face you can feel if you really hit it or if you were decelerating through the ball i mean there's just so much that you can take away from this now I want to say here that this putter head has some sort of insert on this and I think if I were to put a different putter head on here I would put a solid stainless steel or steel head on here because I don't know that I want anything softening it up. Actually having it feel very harsh kind of clicky without anything dampening it is kind of the advantage of this. If you are a feel putter what I mean by feel putter is very much how I was. I would just kind of line up to a golf ball look at the hole look at the break and the slope and all of that and then just kind of feel what I needed to do to get the ball up there. Now over the last year I've tried to become a little bit more mechanical a little more process focused on it kind of figuring out how far back I want that backswing to be based on my putting stroke but a lot of people are feel what i mean by that is that whether it is a five foot putt they're going to bring the club back a foot and then slowly putt through the ball or if it's a 10 foot putt they're going to bring the putter back a foot and then kind of accelerate through the ball so it's all about feel they don't really have a strict process they don't have any distinct parameters that they use to go ahead and putt they just feel and for most amateur golfers that's what you want you just don't have enough time to go out and practice and kind of come up with a process so you are just trying to feel it now this putter shaft i think is perfect for those people i think it's a little wacky i don't know that people will notice it to be honest even though it is really strange looking but you will probably notice it and i think a lot of people want more traditional looking stuff but if you are a field putter, if you're an amateur golfer, if you are an occasional golfer, something like this I think will make you that much better. I will say it's a 33 inch shaft here. I probably have another couple inches on it because of this head. If you were to put this shaft right into like a blade style putter, just remember it's gonna be a little bit short and you could probably find a little plastic cap to cap that off if you wanted. But I think most traditional golfers will benefit from the extra heft of the shaft and also the amount of info that's transmitted through this. So I tell you what, when I ordered this, I thought I was just getting a traditional shaft. I didn't really look at the specs. I'm not used to having to look on the specs to see if one of the ends is more than an inch in diameter. That's never happened to me before. But when I got this, I'm glad that I took it out of the bag and decided to keep it instead of sending it back because this is a really interesting putter. In fact, I'm glad I put this head on it because now I can actually loan this out to people. In fact, the last time I went golfing, I noticed that one of my friends is a total field golfer and he was kind of sending some balls long, leaving some short. And so I gave this to him and I would say that he improved his putting within that round of golf with this putter here. And I think that is chalked up to this shaft here because it's really something kind of different. Now I will say, one, it's not super cheap, but it's not actually as expensive as some of the stability shafts and LA golf shafts and some of the other alternatives. But it's probably gonna take you a little while to figure out how to play with this. For me, what I did is I actually played around with this on the practice screen for a while, and then I played a round of golf with it. So I had time on the practice screen, I had 18 holes of golf under my belt on this, and I was really starting to get the hang of this. So it takes a little while, especially if you are used to grippy, jumbo-sized EVA foam grips. You're just kind of losing a little bit of twist. I don't know how much it adds up to, maybe a half a degree or something like that. But there are all these little things that kind of intercept that signal on the way to your hands, and thus your brain. <laughs> My signals never get to my brain anyway. And so this is very efficient. And for a lot of us that don't go out and have the time to practice that much, I think something like this will actually improve your game. So I'm really, really intrigued by this. I also love the fact that it can work with any putter. So even though I use a Lab Golf Mez 1 putter, it's possible that I could install this in there. But I want to play around with this. But I just wanted to show it to you because it's something I have never seen. I'd never even heard of it. So if you are like me and believe that putting is probably the most important stroke you're going to have in golf, then you might want to try this out. I know a lot of people are always changing their putter. They're looking for the most feel possible. Well, maybe it's not the putter. Maybe it's the shaft. And if you're willing to try something a little bit different, this tuned red shaft by Peterson just might fit the bill. I'm all about rethinking golf. You don't have to have clubs that look traditional if there's something out there that actually improves your game. And this company is obviously a big quality player in the shaft game. So I think developing and building something like this isn't just a gimmick. It's really kind of interesting. If you're in my neighborhood and you want to try this out, I'm happy to lend this to you. But if you think that this might give you more feel with your putting and maybe save you some strokes, I'll put a link to it in the description below. Peter Von Panda, out. We can discover more. 
explore so much deeper We can live better than ever thanks to Peter Peter von Panda Like me and you believe that putting is probably the most important stroke. Eh, stroke? Stroke?